Hello, welcome to Mastering Fifth Grade Math. My name is Jason, and in this lesson we're going to work on the topic of decimal place value. So what we're doing in here is we want to look at a number that has a decimal point, and we want to learn what those numbers mean on both sides of the decimal point. So we're going to be talking about numbers with decimal points and the value of the digits at all of the different locations. We'll work a few problems just to make sure you understand what that means. So let me go ahead and just write a number on the board and we'll label a few things. Let's say I have the number 235 and then I have a big fat decimal point after it. I'm making it so huge because I'm going to write some things on the board. 235, these are the digits that are before the decimal point. So you know that this uh, first number means hundreds because we have 200. You know that this number here means uh, tens, and since there's a three here, that means 30. And you know this is like the ones place, and that means, uh, since there's five here, it's five of them. So the 200 and the 30 and the five, we put it together as 235. Now after the decimal place is what we're going to focus a lot on here. Let's say I have some digits here. One, two, and seven. So here I have three digits before and three digits after. The main thing you need to know about decimal place value is the numbers after the decimal are telling you the, the farther and farther away you get from the decimal on the right hand side, the less important those values are. Okay, the less important those digits are, the more the less that, that they're worth. Okay, so you already know that in numbers here, let's talk about just the first three numbers. The first digit is worth the most. And then this is worth a little bit less. This is worth less. Well, the same thing continues on the other side of the decimal point. This is worth less, this is worth less, and this is worth even less. So the farther you go to the right, even after your decimal point, the less important or the less worth that digit actually has for you. So let's do some labeling. Um, we have three digits in this case that is on the left-hand side of this decimal point. Now, the first digit, or I should say the third digit to the left, we call that, we already talked about it, this is the hundreds, hundreds place, okay? It's because it, that's 200, we already kind of know that. So let me draw a little line here. And then over here, the three, we already said, that's called the tens place. So what we have here is every number here is worth 10, and since we have three, that means that's worth 30. And this digit here is called the ones place, but since we have five of them, this is really worth five. So all of this stuff is stuff that we have learned uh, you know, many, many times in the past. Let me write it like this, and I'm gonna draw this guy here. And then we have this thing called a decimal point, which I'm gonna kinda draw some lines around too. And then we have to talk about what happens on the uh, right-hand side. First thing I wanna tell you though, is notice that we're already saying this is hundreds place. So every number you have here is worth 100. That's why we call it the 100 hundreds place. Okay, this digit is called the tens place because every number we have here is worth 10. And this digit's called the ones place because every number we have here is worth one. That's how we get 235 because two of these is worth 100, that's 200. Three of these is worth 10, that's 30. And five of these is worth just one. So 235, that's how we construct everything on the, that side of the decimal point. But see, this pattern continues. Notice this digit is worth 100. This digit's worth 10, this digit's worth one. So every time we go to the right like this, I'll do that in uh, blue here. Let me cut some of these guys short so we have a little room here. Every 